Hello everyone! Today, we're gonna talk about antibiotic awareness. What is antibiotic? Antibiotic is a type of antimicrobial substance active against bacteria and is the most important type of antibacterial agent for fighting bacterial infections. Antibiotic medications are widely used in the treatment and prevention of such infection. They may either kill or inhibit the growth of bacteria. Gonorrhea is worrisome because strains have become resistant to all but a few antibiotics. This sexually transmitted disease can share its resistance genes between bacteria increasing the spread of resistance. Staphylococcus aureus or staph is everywhere on all personal items or skin in or noses. Staph is usually not harmful, but when it is, it can be difficult to treat, especially in cases of methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus or MRSA, which is now carried by 2% of Americans. They are just some of the leading bacteria in the resistance. There are others and more are coming. Not a problem. As a friend, it's my pleasure to visit you. So how do you feel right now? Still feel the same. My body temperature didn't decrease yet. I've just took antibiotic these days. Hmm, I think you should go to get advice from a doctor because it's not a good choice to take antibiotic without control. Plus, resistance may occur. How does the resistance occur? Resistance is happening quickly because of overuse and misuse of antibiotics over a long period of time, such as not completing antibiotic courses as prescribed and using antibiotics in agriculture to promote growth in animals. Bacteria multiply so fast that even if we had the perfect antibiotic, resistance would still occur and every time we use antibiotics, there is a chance that some bacteria survive due to changes in their DNA. The DNA can code for survival advantage such as changing the bacterial cell surface, preventing antibiotics from attaching or getting in, making pumps that spit the antibiotics out before they have a chance to work or creating enzymes that neutralize the antibiotics. So, what can I do to fight the resistance? Using fewer antibiotics as a society can prevent resistance, saving antibiotics for when they are most appropriate. The first step is preventing the need for antibiotics by avoiding infections, for example, through hand washing, immunizations, and safe food preparation. Using antibiotics the right way also helps, such as taking prescribed courses of antibiotics as directed to avoid leaving bacteria behind and giving them a chance to become resistant. Missed dose of antibiotics may allow a better environment for resistant bacteria to multiply and cause a resistant infection. Oh, now I know. Thank you for your advice. I will more aware about taking antibiotics next time. Many avenues are being examined including finding new antibiotics that expose weaknesses in the bacterial life cycle, looking at ways to boost the immune system to fight bacterial infections, creating bacterial communities that drown out the effects of the infectious bacteria using special viruses that target and kill infectious bacteria, 
and improving diagnostic tests to better target bacteria with the most appropriate antibiotics. With good public health practices and cutting-edge research, we may be able to keep up with the resistance and infectious diseases in general. But we all need to work together to stay one step ahead. So that's all about this antibiotic awareness. I hope that you will learn something through this video. And don't forget that antibiotics didn't affect to viruses. Bye!